just being involved with people was a scary thing for me. I remember going out and just like panicking a little bit in crowds. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think I had any idea that I'd be able to achieve what I've achieved and get get this far. I, I, I did have problems and I did I did have and did need support and help. I was quiet, I was self-isolating. I was going through a tough time um, and, and I noticed that I wasn't actually improving. I was, I was getting worse, but I didn't actually know that I was, I was ill at the time. And I would have ended up on the streets. Luckily, the, the Insight team caught me in the right time. They started taking me out and walking and, and, and other activities, cycling and stuff. I improved quite a lot. I was a lot calmer. It was uh, around four or five months in that I, I, I noticed and looked back and I thought, hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I was a different person. <laughs> when I found rock climbing, that were it for me. <laughs> we first started in Huddersfield with an instructor. He shows around and how to climb and the different games that we could play. Start talking through the techniques that you can do to climb. When you get back, when you finish the climb and you've, you've actually managed to get what you needed to do, it's really, it's really good. Just practice. I applied for the Climbing Instructors Award and then uh, I've got that, that award behind me as well. I've been taking sessions for Insight Team, helping service users climb, They're watching people achieve that route that they've climbed and they feel a lot better when they've come down. <laughs> Makes your day as well. <laughs> my name's Barbara, I'm 36 years old and climbing changed my life. <laughs>